What is happening guys? Cowboy here and welcome back to the remastered walkthrough. So from here make sure you have spent your souls and leveled up. Uh, another thing I want to touch on is we got our first boss soul just two episodes ago with the uh, Moonlight Butterfly and a couple of bosses will drop a boss soul. I ended up using it and eating it for souls but a boss soul can either be eaten like any other soul to give you souls to spend or alternatively it can be used to craft boss weapons. The Moonlight Butterfly Soul in particular can create a Magic Damage Spear, which is an excellent melee alternative for casters, or the Crystal Ring Shield, which is a high magic uh, resistance shield that can shoot out a little ringed AoE. Um, so if you're interested in one of those weapons, pick them up. Otherwise, just eat your souls, level on up, and then we're going to proceed up the ladder from this bonfire. Now earlier in the walkthrough, we picked up the basement key back in the parish. Uh, we're going to be using that basement key to turn on over here, and we're going to be accessing this door that is uh, opposite the one we came down back when we fought the cars team. Go ahead and pop that open. Very first thing we're going to do is go all the way up this staircase. Pop this gate open. And right back there is the bonfire we were just at. So now you have yourself a nice little shortcut if you happen to die in this area. So, proceed down the stairs, and one of the first things that's going to happen is we're going to have some puppers attack us. Unfortunately, these are not the nice puppers that we all like to pet and hang out with. These are very angry puppers that will inflict bleed on you. But, uh, best strat, honestly, just wait, block, and then do a thrust attack or stab them. Um, after that, we're going to make a right. The a couple hollows down here we're going to fight that have torches and then there will be a Twin Humanity we can pick up. Proceed this way. Somebody! Somebody! Any help me! Damn. I'm finished. How did Vax, buddy. If you picked up the residence key earlier, you'll unlock this. Go inside and talk to Griggs. I'm just gonna run through. This will put a uh, mage type person back at Firelink Shrine for you. So if you are a sorcerer, you'll have a bunch of different spells you can get. Roll through the barrels. And then pick up the sorcerer gear as long as the catalyst. Um, emphasis on rolling through the barrels. You don't want to swing and accidentally hit the NPC. Uh, but he will only open up merchant options to you if you have 10 intelligence. As you can see, I have 9, uh, so even back at Firelink, it's not going to matter. He won't have anything. Um, so there are a bunch of doors that look closed. Oh, never mind. This is the... this isn't one of them. Uh, this one is, though. But anyway, a lot of these doors have enemies that will ambush you behind them. Uh, you can do the jump heavy attack like that to take them out in advance. This will just ensure that you're not going to get ambushed by a bunch of enemies when that door opens. So, now that they're dead, let's run on back. Just know it's this one. Mailbreaker. As we go this way and reach the bottom of the steps, there's going to be a second ambush. And this one's a, a little bit trickier. Um, so it's not going to trigger until we get to the steps. One thing that I like to do is run past this guy. He's not going to let me. We'll just run back up the stairs then. Let's see a bunch of things coming. Sometimes if you manage to get into the room, um, from inside that room you can just choke point and kill everything. But running backwards also works. 
Uh, these enemies do tend to be kind of parry heavy as well, so just keep that in mind. Uh, they will try to parry you. Go ahead and break that open. Another doggy. Grab the soul item, and, and, and here we have the thief gear. Kills the target shield. Excellent shield for parrying, has a bigger window than the other shields. Um, now, going through here will be the next boss, but we're not going to do that just yet. First, we're going to take the stairs on down. Uh, you can see a thief up ahead. There's also going to be a thief right here as soon as we turn the corner, waiting to try and ambush us. Go ahead and kill him. Go ahead and kill this one. And then we are going to take this on up and be an archer waiting for us. Here I'm shooting arrows. Shouldn't really be a threat. There we go. The sewer merchant. So, uh, the sewer merchant is pretty useful. They sell the blooming purple toxic moss, which you'll need to get rid of toxic. Uh, they also sell poison throwing knives, dung pies, um, some other big things. The homeward bones are excellent. Prism stones we won't need until later. Purging stones as well. They have arrows, including fire and poison arrows, which are quite useful, so we'll be coming here to buy those later. But most importantly, the main reason we're coming over here is I'm going to pick up two charcoal fire papers. Uh, they're just good to have. Some enemies are weak to lightning, some to magic, some to fire. So coming and getting a couple of these now is quite useful. Before we proceed back down, run down the hallway. Pop open that gate. And this is the same sewer that goes to fire. Like this leads us up to Undead Berg. There's the rat. Uh, if we go a little bit more forward, you can see the entrance. Right down there, Firelink Shrine. This is probably one of the most beautiful things about Dark Souls 1. Is the world is so interconnected. There's so many paths and turns, and everything ends up kind of leading back to Firelink, and it's, it's quite masterfully done. That on. Um, if you're good on health, don't bother going all the way back to Firelink, because if you rest, you're going to reset the assassins and the dogs and all that. Uh, it'll be a lot easier to just kill them. This doesn't go anywhere, as you can see. But we're going to head on down for the fight. Uh, now, typically, I would always recommend to spend your souls for the boss fight. I only have 2,800 right now, which isn't really enough to do anything with, so I'm not going to be that concerned about it. Now, if you get to this area um, earlier, this, this can be one of the harder fights in the game of uh, a Capra Demon. Really early on, this guy can be very difficult, mainly because he has two dogs in the fight with him. Um, by now, if you've been following this walkthrough, having gone through all of the parish, as well as grabbing some key items, and then taking out Moonlight Butterfly and the Hydra, this fight should pale in comparison. But if you come here earlier, it will be much more difficult. Uh, so the main thing here is we're going to run on in, we want to whack the dogs, and then we're going to take out the Capra. So, we're going to charcoal pine resin up. You're going to go in, and you're going to go straight to the left, go up the stairs. You can see Capra already coming in. You can kind of see how this fight could be difficult, because we got this big, big demon thing coming after us, as well as the dogs, and I got stuck on a rock. Uh, so the stairs are your best friend here. Mainly because you can climb up the stairs, jump down, and get a quick breather. Once again, up the stairs for a breather. Heal on up. There we go. And with the dog dead, the rest of this fight isn't too bad. Also do a plunge attack right there if you're having trouble. Uh, but he shouldn't be that hard. Fire in particular works very well here to kill him and the dogs. But as you're kind of seeing me do right now, you know, if you can get him to come right below this little platform, you can do this bit of a plunging cheese, if you will. And the 
aside from that, just kind of block his attacks. Bring him into the open area. Didn't have enough stamina there. There we go. Camper down. And now we have the key to the depths. Balls of Humanity and a Homework Bone. So, if you did go back to Firelink, I would suggest just using a Homework Bone at this point to return. Um, Firelink is going to be the closest bonfire. From here, the next area we're going to be going is down into the depths, which is right here. The key we just got. Grab the soul item. Head and unlock that. Uh, we have to go through the depths a little bit before we get to our first bonfire, so just as a good measure, it's worthwhile in my opinion to head back to Firelink at this point, rest as well as uh, on your souls, and in addition to that, uh, the another Miracle Vendor is now there, which will give us prayer and a Way of the White Bubble. Already got way the way coming. Yeah, we got that from talking to Duders earlier. But with Capra done, basically the rest of his party has shown up. And that's the important thing. You want to go and talk to her, uh, trigger her quest line for later. Wait for these guys to come down. Last thing I want are hollows running around Firelink Shrine. Um, they're not going to run in and kill NPCs, but I don't want to accidentally hit one. So you can see, this guy is now here. As I mentioned, if you have 10 in, you can talk to him. Go on past the chunky boys. Anyway, make sure to come on by, talk to Rhea. Blah, blah, blah. She's going to sit here and pray. These guys are supposed to protect her. Um, ignore them for now, but just make sure you talk to her. We just want to talk to her for now um, to help triggering with a, a quest that will happen later. So anyway, at this point, rest at the bonfire, spend your souls leveling this on up. Oh, so close. Oh, close. 5,000 short, and looking at the time, we got plenty of time left, so I guess we will head on down into the depths. Uh, make our way up to the first bonfire of the depths. Naturally go there from Lower Undead Berg, so... I don't think people will be too confused. I put a bit of the depths the Berg episode. Uh, those assassins from before shouldn't follow you. So there's going to be a couple of hollows to <laughs> hollows, a couple of hollows to kill when we first get down here. And these guys look really basic, but a general rule of thumb is anytime an enemy has red glowing eyes, even if they look like a basic nobody, they can do a hefty amount of damage if you're not careful. So. Just keep that in mind. Be wary of the red eyes. Um, and then, do I have any arrows at all? I do. I have some bolts. Excellent. Put on my crossbow. All right. Um, we're gonna make a right. Go down this way. And grab this soul item. Oh, 
There is a butcher right there. You can kind of see him hanging out. Now, the tricky thing here is you can't aim crossbows, so ideally you should have some arrows for this. Actually, I got an idea. I don't know if this will work, to be honest with you all. It may work. Let's see. Got it. There we go. Alright, so all we're doing is just hitting him. We just, well, we're not trying to kill him at all. We just want to pop him with one arrow. Uh, and that's going to effectively prevent him from dropping down on us and ambushing us. We'll go down there. So it just makes things a little bit easier as we proceed. Now that we have shot him, proceed down to the next area. Proceed with caution. Number of hollows that'll try and rush you. The depths is uh, probably one of the trickier areas in the game, I would say. Um, there's just a lot of potential drops and things that we can fall down that you need to be aware of. Oh, and another thing before we actually proceed any further. Um, earlier on, I mentioned that you guys should get at least one purging stone. As you noticed, you can buy that from the sewer merchant. If you don't have a purging stone by now, I can't stress this enough, get a purging stone. You're going to want to make sure you have one before we go into the next area. Because if you make a single mistake and you die, things are going to be bad. So with those guys dead, head on down to the stairs. We have another doggo. Kill the doggo. Kill the next doggo. And then we got a butcher. Um, they're not a giant threat. They can hit pretty hard if you're not careful. You can parry them. You can backstab them. Uh, additionally, the butchers do not respawn. All the other stuff here will, but the butchers will not. Butcher, go ahead and get the large ember. And with that, we are now able to upgrade our weapons to plus 10. Um, so you're going to give that to Andre. You will need large titanite shards, which you... I mean, it's very unlikely that you'll have enough to upgrade. Um, I could get my weapon to plus 6 right now with just that one. But um, you're not going to be able to go to plus 10, at least for a little bit. Over here, enjoy that fine soupy aroma. Anyway, at this point we're going to continue down into the water. Uh, we have a dog over here. A dog and then some hollow up in the corner. You can see that I'm being a lot more uh, liberal with my approach just two-handing the weapon now. Mainly because at this point... I have enough vigor to not worry about things. Here's the other butcher from earlier. Uh, if you're having trouble, remember that because we're in water, you can use the royal ring. Or excuse me, not the royal ring, the, uh, the rusted ring. And that will keep you a lot more mobile in the water. You know, any, any surface at all that has uneven footing, you can use the ring. here to the rocks, the left, and roll through these barrels to free this dude. Emphasis on rolling. Once again, do not swing your weapon. If you accidentally hit this guy and piss him off, it's going to complicate things. Uh, but this is the pyromancer. Just run through. Um, now that we've exhausted this dialogue, he will also go back to Firelink Shrine and be waiting there for us. Alright, um, so we're going to head on over this way now. Uh, earlier, that butcher that we shot down with an arrow, he may be waiting here. 
as opposed to in the water. Just something to keep in mind. Open this. Bone in. Actually, now hang on a second. No, I don't want to go this way. Yeah. Yes, never mind. We're going to come back. We're going to ignore that item for now. It's a trap. Remembered I, I wrote up a different approach to this area that I felt was a little bit safer, so. Right, now that we got the Pyromancer, let's go this way. Drop down this. A better route in the long run. Uh, you'll notice we have a big old rat down there. That rat can hurt a bit. Um, you can throw firebombs at it if you're really worried about it, but for now at least, run all the way around. Grab the spider shield. Uh, spider shield, another really good shield to have around. Uh, has resistance to poison, which can always be useful. As I mentioned, if you're really worried about the rat, you can throw a couple of fire bombs. Shouldn't take too many. Uh, in general, what I like to do is just throw three and then drop down with a plunging attack. Right next to the roof for a little bit. sure the rat does absolutely nothing to us. Over here, get the soul item. Over here, to get the key. That's the humanity. That's the key. Now, the reason we're coming this way is because we need to have that sewer chamber key to be able to open the bonfire. So, from here, with the rat dead, there's nothing else in here for now. Well, actually, there's that path for now. Um, that's another thing. Just just trust me. Ignore this for now. We'll come back here later. We'll come back for all this stuff, but just for now, don't worry about it. And just follow my lead. So go to this waterfall. Stay all the way to the left. Because of that. See that right there? If you're not all the way to the left, you're going to fall down, and you're going to have a bad time. And I can't stress that enough. If you fall down, it's it's just really bad. I'll we'll say that. It's really bad. There's a bunch of shit down there. Uh, stuff will petrify you. If you get petrified, you end up cursed. It reduces your max health by 50%. And from there, honestly, it's just all downhill. It's 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 bad. You don't want that. You don't want that happening. Um, proceed this way. Open the door. Climb up the ladder. Door again. Kill that guy. Open this. And hey, would you look at that. A bonfire. So now that you've reached the bonfire, uh, the depths will be significantly less healthish. Um, I can't stress enough how terrible this place can be without the bonfire. And boom, 30 vitality hitting our first soft cap. It's a beautiful thing to see this early in the game. But either way, we are going to wrap things up here for now. Uh, the next episode will be going all the way through the depths, so make sure to stay tuned, and we will catch you guys then.